Hi, fifth graders. Today we are looking at percentages and understanding what a percent is. So this is just a think it through. There's not really much for you to do. I'm going to read it and kind of talk to you about it real quick. It says the word percent means part per 100. So if I had 5%, that means I have 5 out of 100. Or that line in that fraction right there can mean per. So parts per hundred. A percent describes an amount showing it as a part of 100. So if I had a pizza and I cut it into 100 pieces and I just, oh, I'll just keep cutting and cutting and cutting and cutting and I'm cutting and cutting and cutting, I would have very teeny tiny little pieces by the time I got done. But that it also stands for a whole thing. So if I had a whole pizza and I ate 10 pieces, that would be 10 out of 100. And that would be what we write as 10%. There we go. And I always try to tell kids, I look at this as a one and a zero, zero. That's how I remember that percent always has to be out of 100. So back to the text, it says a percent describes an amount by showing it as part of 100. Percents are usually written with this symbol right there. So these two things, these numbers, this fraction and this percent mean the exact same thing. One is just written as a percentage and one is written as a fraction. So now let's look at this model below. You know that this is a 100 square. We have talked about that a lot. So part of it is shaded. And if I look, if there are 10 rows, 10 columns in here, five of them are shaded. So 50 are shaded pink, which right here they show you as a fraction is 50 hundredths. Now, if you remember on a place value chart, and I'm not going to be able to do this very good, but we went up. Yeah. Okay, and then let's say my decimals right here. Okay, so this is my tenth. There's no such thing as a one. This is my tenth. This is my hundredth. And I'm going to, that's got that TH in there. Tenth hundredth and then we would go into the thousandth so this fraction right here says 50 hundredths 50 hundredths means 50 hundredths there's what 50 hundredths look like so 50 hundredths can also be written as five tenths now follow me back up here a fraction 50 out of 100 squares is shaded pink. So we write it 50 over 100. The decimal is 0.50, which I showed you down here. And then because it's out of 100, we can call it 50%. So decimals, percents, and fractions all go together. And they look, I mean, they, they mean the same thing. Let's look at the next one. We can compare things, just like we can compare a decimal. We can compare a whole number. We can compare fractions. We can also compare per percents. So this square, this is 100, and only five of them are colored in. So what this, they made this into a greater than, less than. Well, if there's only five of 100, I'm going to put five over 100. Okay, now if I were to put that in here, this right here says five hundredths. So I'm going to come down here and I'm going to make another place value. I'm going to use those same lines that I did right there. Just getting this set up. Okay, now this time it's not 50 hundredths, it's five hundredths five hundredths, which means there's this right there. So now it's saying that 50 five hundredths is less than 50 hundredths. Now, how did I do that? If you remember, the farther we go this way, the smaller something gets. So think about right here. 
if I had a 1 in this place value and I took a little part of it out, then it would get smaller. And then I took a little another part out and it would get smaller. And then I took another little part out and it would get smaller, 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 smaller. So it goes all the way down. This way gets smaller and that's what we did. So 5 50 hundredths is larger than 5 hundredths. Now, let me go back here and say the decimals, I'm going to have to subtract, I'm going to take my writing, Oop, my, there we go. So this one says 500, see how that one's written it as a decimal? And this one says 50 hundredths as a decimal. So that would be 5% or 50%, and we know that 5% is less than 50%. Okay, let's look at these real quick. You can have 100% of 100. That just means one. So if you have just a little candy bar right here, and it's divided, this is a whole candy bar. And if you eat all of it, you've eaten the whole thing. You've eaten one. So 100 of 100 equals one. This one shows 65 of 100, so it's 65%. This one shows 4 of 100, so it's 4%. This one shows 21 of 100, so it's 21%. Percent is a way to describe a part of the whole when the whole is 100. For example, suppose you take a test with 100 questions and you get 90 of them right. Then you got a 90%. Okay? Now, that's all we're doing on this one for today. We are going to go deeper into it, but that's what we're doing for right now. So let me open up our workbook page so we can see what we have to do. This gives us an example. How can you write the fraction 1 one hundredth as a decimal? So let me get my pencil again. Okay, thinking about my place value chart. Again, draw this up. This is my tenth, I'm going to call it tenth. This is my hundredth. Uh, and the next one would be a thousandth. And I'm not going to go there right now, so I'm just going to go to these two. Here's my decimal. And this place would be a whole number. This is my ones. And then it goes tens. I'm getting pretty good at writing with that mouse, I think. And this is the tens. There we go. Okay, so one one hundredth. If this said one over ten, I would write it right here. But it does not say one out of ten. It says one out of one hundred. So this is a zero, and this is a hundredth. So one one hundredth is written right down here as point zero one. Point zero one. Now you can put the zero up front here, which means we have no whole numbers. Okay, that's what that would say. That means no whole numbers and we have 1 out of 100. So what it wants you to do on number 1 is shade 20 squares in. Okay, then it says write the decimal. What would a decimal look like? Well, go back up here and think about 20 hundredths. Then this one, write a fraction. Oh. This only shows 10, but I can actually put the other 10 lines in there. I can't do it with my mouse, but that would be, and then you will be able to figure that out, making it out of 100. Okay, then write the equivalent decimal for the models in problem 3. So this one, you're going to write it as a fraction up here. So it's going to have your fraction line. It's going to have your fraction line. Then you're going to write it as a decimal and as a decimal. And then it says compare. I'm not going to have you do that. I just kind of want you to know which one's bigger, but I think you're going to be able to see that really quick. And then how can you use multiplication? Let's not do that one. Okay. Have a great day.